Throughout this guide, we've concentrated on the use of filters to control the amount of light that's coming into the camera and allow us a longer shutter speed. Well, Phase 1 have developed something very cool with the IQ4 series which called frame averaging. Now, frame averaging actually removes the need in some situations for us to put a filter in front of the camera. Instead of having the shutter open for one long period of, say, two minutes, what it allows me to do is have the shutter open for multiple exposures of a much shorter shutter speed. So I can set the camera to take two minutes worth of one fiftieth of a second shots or one one hundredth of a second shots or one two hundredth of a second shot, depending on the exposure for a single frame that I want. What that means as an end product is a long exposure shot that's made by the camera by adding all of those frames together and averaging out the exposure. So unlike in our traditional process where we're using filters to extend that shutter speed, in this scenario, the camera gives us an infinite amount of possibilities for how long that exposure can be without the risk of overblowing or underexposing highlights and shadows. From a personal perspective, that means that the three kilos of glass I carry around in my bag isn't necessary. From a practical perspective, it gives me an infinite number of possibilities in terms of how long I want to shoot without worrying about overexposing highlights or underexposing shadows. And from an image quality point of view, We've also got to bear in mind that every single piece of glass we put in front of our lens is adding risk to the image quality and also adding something called color cast. So we taught you earlier in the guide to make sure that you're shooting using RAW. RAW allows us to correct for color cast in a filter. Color cast is simply the fact that as light passes through another substance, it can change its properties slightly and become slightly more pink or slightly more blue. You'll hear people refer to certain filter types have a pink cast or a blue cast. It's perfectly normal. And it's why we allow the correction of that in RAW. But imagine I don't have to put a filter in front of the lens in order to capture that scene. Now I'm taking the light as pure as it can go through the lens straight into the camera, but still able to capture a long exposure. That's pretty cool.